Ramanavan. I am a rheumatologist. I work at uh, Chennai uh, Apollo Hospital. My training is uh, to treat people with joint pain. The most common cause of joint pain is osteoarthritis followed by rheumatoid arthritis. That is one of the main reasons why most patients come to the rheumatologist. Before I move any further, I'll tell you when should you see a rheumatologist and when an orthopedic doctor. Whenever there is pain all over the body involving multiple joints that is affecting anyone's capacity to move around freely without pain and also if there is associated fatigue, that is tiredness and there are many swollen joints in the back, in the hands, feet then the right doctor to see is a rheumatologist. Orthopedic doctors tend to focus more on a specific joint or a muscle or ligament but a rheumatologist generally deal with whole body problems like whole body pain, whole body joint pain and similar conditions. Now coming to rheumatoid arthritis, we exactly don't know the reason why people get rheumatoid arthritis but the good news is we know how to prevent damage caused by this problem. The actual disease is not in the joints, it is in the blood. That is why we always check the blood, find out how much inflammation is there and then depending upon how bad the pain is and how many joints are involved, we do further testing which could include x-rays and uh, some preventative aspects like if somebody has been exposed to hepatitis or tuberculosis and then start medications. Like I said before, we don't know the cause, we know how to control inflammation. The need to control inflammation is to prevent joint damage. What that really means is everybody at a certain point in their life will have, will have arthritis. We call that osteoarthritis. In fact, that is the most common type of arthritis. But if somebody has rheumatoid arthritis, they'll get osteoarthritis way younger in their life. Just to give an example, if when I become 65, I may expect to develop osteoarthritis. But if I get rheumatoid, then I'll get the same problems very early. If I get rheumatoid at 20, then I'll have osteoarthritis at 35. So my goal as a rheumatologist is to diagnose rheumatoid arthritis, start treatment, prevent progression and joint damage. Again, we don't know the cause, but we know how to treat and we can definitely improve quality of life by controlling pain, increasing mobility and also improving uh, fatigue. That is a major issue with arthritis. Uh, it is not about the limitation in movement but also the incapacitation that happens with even usual daily activities. Like before a person gets arthritis, they'll be able to work for two hours and then take rest for some time and then do it again. But with arthritis, the same amount of work will cause so much fatigue that they'll have to resume work maybe the next day. So pain, fatigue, and uh, one last thing is we have to treat rheumatoid arthritis as a chronic disease like diabetes and high blood pressure. So because like I said, we can't cure the problem because we don't know the exact reason why this problem sets in.